Hello, hello, hello. Okay, everyone. Sorry, I've been like running around here trying to get all up, uh, set up so that you guys could join me uh, for this art journal page. So first of all, I am very new to art journaling. Um, I started it when um, all these health issues came. So I've probably been doing it, I want to say, for maybe a year. I'm not sure, maybe a little longer. And um, so there are so many amazing artists. I really recommend that you just like do a little search because each uh, mixed media artist and art journaling artist um, will add something to your technique and what it is you're looking for. I highly recommend um, that you do start an art journal. Um, I'm just telling you, it is, it's just a wonderful way to practice, to express yourself. Um, so that being said, this is just a book that I found at, um, Ross. I think I paid, I don't know. I know it was under $5, so I didn't pay a lot. I will tell you from my experience because I use so much paint and I use like this whole page right here, which I will go ahead and bring you guys in so that you can, um, see, oh, you're probably going to see me sitting again. Cause I always hit this number wrong. Yep. There we go. So let's zoom in. Um, if you can see on here, so I had all of these paints. Um, I can't even remember what they are, but they were like a chalk paint. And I also had some powders that was charcoal. And so basically I just wanted to see what effect they would do when I wasn't painting furniture. Cause yeah, you know, I think I mentioned that I have kind of like a crazy little mind that is always doing something anyway. So that is a great place to do it. Um, however, this little book I got was kind of just like a little journaling book. And all I did was I got this fabric at Joann's and I covered it because doesn't that look like an art book? Um, Oh, I should totally, well, no, I'll show you the end once we finish the book. I got a wonderful cover from my wonderful friend, Judith, over in Australia. She does some amazing ladies. And so I found one of her ladies and I thought, oh, I just have to match the material to that. That being said, you can see I have all sorts of stuff on it because this book travels with me. So I'm always playing in it. Um, I haven't for a while because I've just been so incredibly busy, but I'm also kind of learning. I probably will make my own journal next time. And I'm also going to do it with watercolor paper because this paper, while it has held up, um, yeah, it, it's struggling, really struggling to do it. So, but Hey, it still does it. My kids will one day be able to go through this still and, yeah, they'll be able to do it. So all I do is, A, I'm going to glue several pages down on here because that does help add a little bit of weight I have found. These are the cheapest glue sticks. I found them on my travels because I had ran out. Um, and so I have to use them up before I can buy more. Um, I don't get overly picky or, like, it's going to hold. You know, if that matters to you, like your glue stick, um, you really, really need to use what you want. Okay. You could even put this down with Mod Podge or I'm not going to use for me. I don't want to use my more expensive glues. You could use, um, a white glue as well, which I have so much white glue as well. So I probably will start doing that. Um, because I bought so much of that glue, um, for paint pours. <laughs> oh my gosh. Yeah. Yeah. I am learning that just because I see it on the tutorial. Oh, I even said it right. Does not mean that I need to run out and buy it. I need to look at my studio and actually see what I have. So I'm just going to put that down for now. Then all I'm going to do is I'm going to take, and I'm going to glue a couple of these pages as well to this other page um, so that it's going to have a little girth behind it as well. So I hope everybody is having a wonderful day. I'm always going to ask that. And I love it when you actually respond. 
Um, like I said, doesn't it just kind of feel like you're making new friends and I love hearing about your day. Um, I think it's just wonderful. This video is going to be posted before my trip. Um, we have an upcoming trip for my husband in Utah. And so today is kind of my last day. Ouch. I don't know what that was. You can see mixed media there. This is my last day to um, kind of be able to play. I wanted to make at least a short video um, just to start you guys. And I probably will stay down here and just play a little more. Um, who knows? I tried to make sure I was a responsible adult. You know, sometimes adulting is just not fun. Okay, well, this is kind of boring. Please feel free to speed up the video while I glue pages along. Um, I did adult today, so it's that wonderful time of year. So I got my tax appointment all set up, and I have so many questions for her anyway. Um, Got to make sure you're legal uh, to do a business, so I... Made our appointment to get our taxes done, and then I made sure um, I had all my husband's instructions from his doctor because they haven't actually called us, and so I wanted to make sure I knew uh, what to expect. Again, this paper is not that I have just found for me of what I'm doing. This isn't the best. Um, I don't care if it tears or whatever, but um, you can see I glue several pieces together. Anyway, excuse me, I like dehydrating down here. I'm also trying to do different angles to see if I like them better. So hopefully this ain't going to be like on a blooper Friday, but it could be. So um, anyway, so I got all my packing done that I could do today and yeah. I thought I can now come down and I can craft with you. Okay, so normally I gesso and I paint. But do you remember in one of my video videos me telling you that I have like so many scraps of paper? I thought you have got, excuse me, you've got to start using it. Otherwise it's a waste. And I've got some really cool scraps down here. So normally when I'm starting a page and I haven't decided, I mean, I may still go in and do it, but I thought I would just start collaging um, first because, yeah, I got to start using up these. This is a kit from Cheryl Francis. You guys know by now she's like my all-time favorite. And I wanted to do, it's going to be a double page spread, though I'm thinking I may actually do something with my granddaughter on this side because my granddaughter made this wonderful um, heart for me for Valentine's Day. So I really, really wanted to include it. Um, and so I don't know, this whole side over here might be completely dedicated to her. I don't know what I'm going to do. I never know what I'm going to do with an art journal. And I'll be honest, I don't know if I'll be able to film art journaling because it's kind of where I empty out my brain. <laughs> and you have to talk. I mean, well, I guess you don't have to talk, but I talk during my videos. And so, um, yeah, I, I'm i not sure that I'm going to be able to do that. But we shall see, right? Um, because I would love for you guys to be able to do this. Um, it is so freeing because there's no pressure in it. Um, you don't have to let anybody see it um, but yourself. It could just be you. It's a great, a great way if you find that you can no longer um, write in your journal. It is a wonderful way to be able to um, still um, get your emotions down on paper. Um, I don't know if my kids are ever going to understand what I was actually thinking. Um, but, you know, that being said, let us... And you can try different techniques. So, which one? Do I want to do her on this side? Maybe I do want to do her on this side. Do I want to collage over her? Do I want to paint over her? I'm going to wind up having to paint. But let's get her down, and then let's get some collage down. Do I want... Mm -hmm -hmm. And this is what I mean. Sometimes, because I've never filmed doing this, um, 
I'm not sure. Well, I probably won't. We're just going to glue it. Um, I've never filmed, so I'm not sure like what supplies. And because I haven't really thought this out, I don't like... I might get an idea sometimes with an art journal page of like what I want to do. I think only a couple of pages were like that. Um, and then I kind of had a direction. Generally, I just sit down and um, whatever I am feeling that day is kind of what I try to express and what I try to get down on the page, which is why, you know, if my kids ever get this and, you know, I have gone on, they may truly not have a clue at what I was thinking that day, but hopefully they can interpret it. What do you think? So by the time this video comes out, we should be closer to our goal for Lola. Um, she really wants to go home, guys. So again, make sure you are going to like and subscribe um, so that we can get Lola to her new owner. And then I hope you guys watched the last video. Um, I hope it doesn't offend anybody. I have no way of knowing because I'm filming back to back. Um, but like I said, I'm, I don't want to address like negative things. I just am not into it. This community is like far too fun. Um, so I had said, if you guys would give me some suggestions, I'm going to mention it again. Uh, let's have suggestions on what you would like the thousand subscriber giveaway to be. Um, and so this is more collage paper um, from another one of her kits. And it just kind of goes with this. I am not. I'm going to make myself throw away these scraps. I don't know when I got so weird <laughs> with paper. <laughs> But I definitely, I got weird because I save everything. And then my daughter called me the other day and she um, was cleaning up my granddaughter's bedroom and she was horrified because they had literally been saving um, scraps of paper for me. <laughs> oh, how I love them. How I love them. So let's see. Basically, we want to just get it all collaged out. I try not to overthink collaging too much, um, but I do. I really do, so I need to just stop. That's another thing about art journaling that I think will be really good is to um, help me learn to not overthink things. Um, so as I had said, I... Um, Pretty, you know, I have ADHD, so my mind is a little squirrely. Uh, the wonderful thing, if you have kids that have it, is it, it does get better when you get older because you learn to discipline your mind a little bit. Um, now, that being said, you know, it still likes to act up occasionally. And this is a great exercise for me to not overthink, um, try to get everything kind of in a focus, uh, and just do it. Um, if I'm having a particularly stressful day, because we all have them, this is also another way to just come down, um, not have to think about things. Um, and most of all, da, 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 it gets rid of your scraps. <laughs> I cannot be the only one who has a gazillion scraps. I just can't. And so I really want to start um, using it. These scraps are actually, um, I have mentioned that when I paint, in that video, by the way, um, you guys really blessed me. Uh, when I showed how to do grungy papers, that has been my biggest hit. So by that, I can assume that that maybe is what you guys would rather see. So just let me know. I'm never going to give up doing journals, but I don't have to film it. Um, if you would prefer this channel be more um, of me showing you how I make papers, um, it's also a very cost-efficient way for you if you don't have a um, copier or if you you know, for whatever reason, like it, making your own papers is just a lot of fun. Now I, um, photocopy, that's what these scraps are from, 
So I will doodle around um, and then I will uh, photocopy those papers so that I can do exactly what I'm doing right here, which is just laying paper down. Um, because it really helps me. Like I said, I was never a huge fan. People were so good at collaging and I'm like, man, you suck, dude. And then I thought, you got to stop saying that and you just got to get in there and you got to try. You can't get good at something um, if you don't just start doing it. And so I really wanted to do it. Oh, this is so amazing. So this came off some more papers, but... I think that is just going to look really, ooh, you know what? Maybe she needs to have that across there. Oh, yeah. So we won't put you up there. Let's see. What else do we have here? Oh, my goodness. What else is going on? Can you believe that February is, like, almost gone? I cannot believe it. The one good thing that February is almost gone is that, um, the retreat I'm going to is another day closer. I'm so excited. They have some of the most wonderful teachers that I'm going to be able to learn from. And some of these ladies I've wanted to meet forever. Um, so I'm so excited to not only have the opportunity to learn, but I am going to get be able to hug them, and yeah, so if they're watching this, be warned, you're getting hugged, um, and yeah, it's just going to be this amazing opportunity to learn. Okay, so, and the great thing about um, Cheryl Francis's papers is she's already done the, the collaging for you in so many of her um, kits. And so I love it. And I literally um, can just be inspired from there to work with it. Now we are going to have to paint. We're going to have to go in and paint. And again, art journaling can um, help you see a future journal. Because if you really like a spread, then you have that spread um, to go back to. It's already saved for you. Um, so like I said, and you can go down and I know so many, um, tutorials, literally they just use the little 99 cent books. Um, so there is a ton of different tutorials, um, on how to make an art journal. And I just watch different people. I have some of my favorites on there. I will try my best, um, to leave myself a little note to go ahead and link them um, my favorite artist, um, because they have just so inspired me, um, to do things and step out. And again, that's really kind of what I'm working on is stepping out, um, of all my comfort zones and stop being afraid of things. Cause like art is an expression of who you are art is an expression that can be just be personal and you know I had to learn to um, realize that it's you know my style and all of that may not be for everybody but it's what it's literally art can calm your soul and it has mine it really has I just love this little piece but I think what I'm going to do is put this piece so the thing too that I have found with collaging is layering adds so much to your piece. It just does. So this also was one of my um, photocopies of some paper that I was just doodling around with. Um, so I probably down the road, uh, when I do a jelly printing session, <laughs> I mean, it just... It's like all day to do, um, I don't know, four pages. Uh, one of the best uh, jelly um, printing people that I have run across is Randy over at Dreamy Bohemian. Um, she does amazing tutorials on jelly plating. So I would say run over if you're into jelly uh Let's see, I really, you can see I really like that piece. I think we need to get some 
gold and some greens in there. What time are we at? So we are coming to the end and the close of this video um, because I am trying to keep my video short. We're all so busy. Uh, I really would love for you to be able to engage with me through the entire video. Um, that really does help me. Um, it, it makes YouTube say, oh, the little, the little AI goes, oh, look, they liked watching her. So um, it helps if you watch it all the way through. And so I don't want to take up your time on, you know, four-hour videos. So look, we got it all collaged out. Isn't that wonderful? Oh, you know, I've really got to work on seeing this. And then it's hard because I have like all of this other paper down because I know I'm going to make a mess and I just put my new cover on, but it's kind of making me crazy. So I'm going to move this. I'm going to say ciao and thanks for coming and play with me. Um, and then I will continue to do this. I'm just going to do it on another video. All right, guys. Thanks again. Again, you humble me. And most of all, I hope you guys have the most wonderful day. I shall see you on the flip side. Bye, guys.